Welcome back to part 12 of the post comp progress series. About to go do some Telos, learn it on stream. But I uh, got something interesting from Ma today. That would be a. Where did I put it? Scrimshaw of Corruption, which will increase combat and Slayer XP, destroy drops, but it also gives you an aggressive uh, aggression potion effect. So that'll be pretty nice to use in a Slayer. Uh, I'll probably end up using it in the uh, versus the shadows that I have in my personal Slayer dungeon. Well, I finally ended up dying at Telos all the way up at... Uh, I don't know what the Enrage was. I think it was 147. That sounds right. Um, ended up dying to... What was it? Oh, I thought I had pressed Anticipate whenever he did his stun thing. And, uh, no, I had not. So, he stunned me, and he jumped on me for 7k. That hurts a lot. Um, yeah, and I had already blown my sign at the uh, 138 kill, so sadly lost it, and lost some loot. But started back up at zero, got up to 82 on a 7 kill streak now. Uh, just gonna keep doing that. Like, push up and rage, um, loot whenever I start to feel uncomfortable push and rage up until I die, and then restart at zero and make my way back up. That way I'll be able to get some loot throughout. Um, it'll always feel comfortable as I continue pushing up to my uh, my next highest point. And, you know, I, I get a little bit of loot while I'm learning the boss. You know, kind of kind of intermix the uh, grinding to get loot and the pushing and rage to get better aspects. Oh, and just to be clear, these streams will be happening uh, normally about an hour or two after reset. That's when I'll, I'll try to aim for uh, and do, you know, a few hours past that. Uh, once Virago uh, hopefully has a good week, I'll be doing that for Tectonic, etc. And, uh, yeah, just keeping up with daily Telos at the minimum so that I can force myself to learn the boss despite how much I scream and curse at it while I'm streaming. <laughs> Oh wow, finally got my first piece of the blacksmith outfit. That's like, I don't know, 20 rune ceremonial swords or something so far? Did myself uh, probably a few hours of divination to collect some divine charge, and uh, did a little bit of running around farm runs, crystal flasks, etc. I thought I'd lay back a little bit though and pick up a thieving level. There we go. Uh, what's that? 104. All right, four down, nothing. Rip. All right, so got myself a Crackling 3 Ultimatum 2, an ED3 Gizmo. Let's pull out this Crest of Saren, Anima Core Body, and... What? Augmenter, that's right. So if I just attach this... Yeah. Combine, that makes it a T80 armor. Nice. Make myself this augment. Bam. Throw that on, and throw that on. And that's basically my replacement for my garb for the time being. But later on, once I get tectonic, I can disassemble this. Get myself my planted feet. Yeah, one more day of Telos down. Pushed up to 161. Got a lot of stupid deaths, but uh, overall I have learned to do the stun rezo like every single time. So I'm pretty happy with my progress at least. And another invention level coming in. Bam, that's uh, 135. Yeah, I, I guess I should clip that. 130 mil invention XP right after I finished task number 630. Alright, thanks to the Scrimshaw of Corruption that I've been using. It's gonna be a big one. 115. The Magister. Da da da. Alright, got in another full raid despite the few days of not doing full raids. Uh, let's check the loot. I'll take. The okay, fine. I'll reroll. Please, food still. No, no food. Okay. Beastmaster. Okay, it gave me back the food. Nice. 
and I can come over here let's see what do I have now I've got Acto Tempest two pieces Acto Primeval so I mean the next thing I should buy is like Terralith gloves yeah so I guess I'll go with uh but I, I kind of want to get the, the Primeval mask just because it might come in handy at Telos having three pieces of uh, of this so yeah I'll, I'll grab the Primeval mask right now uh oh I need a yeah there no I need a space okay bye confirm been doing more bossing streaming of course and uh, ended the stream today by getting fairly close to 200% Telos let's see I got up to uh, 186 I did a 198 attempt and I died to a stupid death I'm still trying to configure my stuff I bought a new action bar and trying to get all the all the stuff down but uh, up to 49 KC so almost 50 there but this right here this camouflage body I believe pick these two up and these two and there is my first set finally so that's something I can use I uh, need another what's that one two three pieces I think yeah three three more pieces and I will be done with the master camouflage set yeah but at least I've gotten the prif one now so that's that's nice it's an extra little bonus on top of the exoskeleton and I can take this uh, all to my POH walked off into another room and totally missed it but I just picked up a thieving level that's 105 yeah and I uh, made myself another piece of the master camouflage outfit right there getting towards uh, like three left I believe oh and I finally got another pair of brawling gloves they're magic again, so I think I'm just going to, I don't know, Algum? Let's, let's just do this. Can I, can I, yeah, bye-bye. Nice! Finally! Yeah, finally, got a good piece, second piece. What's that put me at? 65. Got it. Do I have an extra ACP, though? So if I have an extra one... No, I don't have an extra ACP. Or else I disassemble it right now. Alright, just ended my stream and got a pretty good drop, right? The Pernix body augmented it, threw on a Crackling, made another Gizmo, threw on a Crystal Shield 3. Um, I think what I'm going to end up doing is leveling up my uh, Garb of Subjugation here to at least 9, probably 10. Uh, disassemble it, because I do have a spare one up here, at the very least. Uh, then I can just keep using my T80 body right here for Slayer and whatnot. It's fine, the charge drain, it's no big deal. Uh, and then I can put this ED3 that I've got on to here, instead of Crystal Shield 3. And that'll be a nice little improvement. Uh, hopefully, I'll get this into Pernix before long and this stuff into T80. Melee, I'm not too worried about, uh, but I also want to get, you know, the next gloves, boots, helmets, because those are a little bit more important than the, uh, or those are just as important, I suppose, as these two pieces. Maybe not the gloves, though. Yeah, pretty, pretty good streams. Uh, also, ended up getting my Telos up a little bit more in Rage, pushed to 236 from 186 previously, so I was 50 in Rage in one night. Uh, pretty happy about that. Up to 56 KC. Not getting much because I am dying now and again. But uh, a little bit of energy here. Can't remember what I claimed earlier, actually. I think it was just some herbs for the most part. Yeah, I got some more Torstals here than I had before. And I finally have five wines of Ceridomen because that was a death collect. But Yeah, uh, gonna keep focusing on next a little bit more, though, and some Rots. Because uh, next will give me this and some super restores, you know, brew restores, beautiful drop, and uh, do some rots to get some more rock tails. Not even worried about the shields or malevolent, just want some rock tails. So yeah, I think I'm gonna claim this one and then push a few more in rage kills. So like, I think I got time for like two more kills on my uh, aura. Try to push a little bit more in rage. And of course, end of another stream, still doing that daily streaming thing to like force myself to keep learning Telos. Uh, ended up dying on the last attempt of the night, which was, it was a little over 250. 
uh, but now my highest in rage is 241. So, yeah, it's okay. Uh, I didn't actually have a sign up, so I just just died. Whenever um, it was a surge, it was it was one of the one of the uppercut things on uh, phase three. I was doing an onslaught, and I didn't expect it to come so soon. Uh, so I was like, okay, I think I can time it, and I surged, and it was like either a tick too early, tick too late, died. Uh, however, I'll just stop right there, keep a little bit of my simple parts. Um, I did get some Onyx Bolts at next, some Rune Maces at Telos with that last claim. Uh, so things went pretty well. I'm not going to be able to push in Rage uh, for too much longer because I'm running out of the charges on my Desert Pantheon. But I think once I actually hit 300%, I'll be comfortable and I can do like 0 to 300% runs. Then once I really feel like I've got 300% down, I can start pushing again and maybe push up to 400 or push up to Warden. Something like that. Oh, and I realized that in like a lot of my clips these days, I'm screwing up leaving on part of my uh, streaming overlay stuff on my OBS. So I've got this little tip jar down here, and I've got uh, a little extra overlay that I pop up to say what I'm actually doing, what the plan is for the stream. Um, so apologies if they're if they're getting annoying or getting in the way. Uh, I try not to leave them on, but you know it happens sometimes. Oh hey, and like I said, 106 thieving was the next thing I was going to pick up. There it is. Just barely missed the fireworks because I don't actually have my headphones on, so I didn't hear it. Alright, and with this... Where is it at? That'll be the last piece of the uh, Master Camouflage outfit. Bam. Put that on. There's all five pieces. Pretty decent drops. I uh, don't think I'm ever going to go for the Black Ibis set or anything like that, but... It's nice to have. Speeds up pickpocketing a little bit. And that double pickpocket is just... Mm, it's music to my ears. Money, money, money coming in. Alright, and since I figure... Uh, yeah, I figured I may as well go ahead and get another ED3. So, let's just use this on the gizmo. I use a gizmo dissolver on my Pernix body. Take off Crystal Shield 3. Get rid of that. And throw on ED3. Nice. Perfect uh, Pernix body here. Alright, so went and did some Telos, got super annoyed at some parts of it, uh, encountered a bug that just, I lost a lot of loot, and yeah, I couldn't handle it. Don't know if I'm still going to be streaming it every night, though, uh, I'll still try to stream fairly often. Anyway, there's a fire making level 103. Alright guys, and for those of you that have made it this far, I just want to speak directly to you, to the real fans, I guess. And say that um, I apologize for the additional day delay on this video. I originally set myself like a five-day maximum to go into a video, and this would be the sixth day, or yesterday was the sixth day, and this is, yeah, like a week after my last upload, something like that. Um, and that's just because I have, like, higher expectations for myself. I wasn't really happy with the content that I had made, and I didn't really feel like I had accomplished that much. But I think that's just due to me learning a new boss and doing a lot of streaming on the side. Because, um, yeah, streaming a boss for like two or three different hours and then not getting any drops from these bosses just means that there's like a few seconds of content to show maybe every day or every other day. Yeah, but, but anyway, um, I wanted to address a few other things as well in that reason I've been doing thieving and fire making it's not just because I'm going for 120 in all skills which is is kind of something and and that's a thing let me just uh do that because this is the next morning um it's also because I want to go for the skill pets over time and that's uh yeah these are two of the harder ones so I'm working on that doing some afk skilling and um You'll notice that I also stopped doing Slayer. That's just because I'm waiting for the combat pets to come out. I don't really want to feel like I'm wasting time by not by doing combat without getting them. Or without having them available. Uh, yeah, but after those come out, I should be able to knock out uh, Slayer. I know that I want to recomp like well before Christmas, so that's definitely going to happen. I'll knock out Slayer really quickly. Uh, but yeah, other than that... Thanks for watching, guys. It's the end of this video, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.